So that's not that different. I wasn't on a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, she was telling me about the reasons that a certain former government official was being investigated and why a certain former government official wouldn't want, like, their um, personal documents. Like, oh, what's a personal document? You know, your social security card, um, your birth certificate, your tax returns. Oh, or... Or it's on... No, it's showing that mine is... Yeah. Live with three view- <laughs> viewers, which, hello, everyone. Yeah, I was like, mine, um, mine is not. Because <laughs> usually it has duration, and it tells me how long, like, you know. Yeah, it, yours just my- uh, promotes my channel. Here, let me go ahead and get into your computer again. I'll do it again. I set everything up perfectly. I don't know why it's so difficult for you to just Patrick? not touch anything. Patrick? Yes. You've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I always do, and every time I go to do something, it's different because my computer says no. Am I live on Twitch or something else? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're something else, Miss Alyssa. All right, it said connecting. I haven't it says done anything. No. Are you sure you didn't do anything? Because I don't yeah. believe you. Oyo. Okay. Well,. Perfect, then. It's been about seven minutes of uh, disruption, (laughs) so I guess, would you like to get started? Listen, I'm telling you, like, this is our thing. (laughs) Even if you don't want it to be, it's our thing. Technical problems. All right, well, (laughs) hello, welcome to Anything... Hang on. Hello, (laughs) welcome to Anything Could Be on a Hook. I'm Patrick. And I'm Alyssa. (laughs) And what? today we are going to be get ta- or I guess we're more going to be reacting to uh, just some celebrity cringe. We are working on a little bit of a limited time budget here, and this just seemed like something fun. Um, we're pulling from some old interviews, some old uh, I mean celebrity appearances, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia. 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 We have. Hello, Mr. Merlin would very much like to be a part of today's episode. Aww. Yes, he is just he so... Said, I want to react. He wants to react. <laughs> uh, yes, um, so for those following on Twitch, for anybody listening to the podcast over on Spotify, every Thursday we do go live on both of our Twitch channels normally. <laughs> Today is a little different. But normally, we both go live on our Twitch channels, and you can follow us there, watch the unedited, unfiltered version of the podcast, Um, or you can just, the mess, (laughs) or you can just continue to enjoy it uh, in its edited refinery over here. But yes, for today, we obviously have a little bit of a different setup to watch the videos. It's not that different, but... Um, on our screens, or I guess just on my screen, it is a little bit wider. Um, That way we can have an additional window open. That way everyone can watch the videos with us. Sound good? Let's go ahead and get right on in then. Um, Alyssa, if at any point you want to (laughs) insert a thought, an opinion, whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, pause. Pause. (laughs) Perfect. Just shout pause. All right, the first one uh, looks like it starts with Taylor Swift, so that's always a fun place to start with cringe. That's my baby. <laughs> I'm terrified of porcelain dolls. Wait. Where did that go? Whoop! <laughs> I'm terrified of porcelain dolls. I heard that. I don't mean to alarm you, but I can't hear or see this. You can't hear or see it? No. Perfect. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> Stop. 
but I I can't I can't hear it. Also, my stream just popped up and it's saying that I'm actually streaming now. How you're not? It says we are five minutes into my stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. Um. Is so what? I tested it on stream, and they can definitely see it. The hearing is now the issue that I'm worried about, and my frames are dropping like mad. We have about 45 minutes left. It looks yeah. like the reaction idea isn't really going to <laughs> pan out. Is there something else that you wanted to yeah. do for, for the stream today? Or we what you think? We need to talk about um, <laughs> what talk about what's going on in our lives because um your birthday was very <laughs> exciting to me um my birthday was exciting, exciting. <laughs> yeah yeah why was my birthday <laughs> exciting heard, you know oh god i don't know you were telling me all the shenanigans that went wrong that day. oh yeah no uh, okay well first of all if that's what we're going to talk about for just like a real quick chatty <laughs> chat sure Let's change this to discussing why I hate birth. I hate birthdays. <laughs> it must be an Aquarius thing, cause like literally everyone in our class, not everyone, but half of our class has had birthdays over the past like two weeks. <laughs> and everyone's like, no, don't make it a big deal. <laughs> no, please don't make it a big deal. I don't want this and to we're be a all big like, deal. Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Mr. But everyone just keeps getting their own turn at it. <laughs> uh. Yes, okay. I just had to release Mr. Merlin. So, Dorian, if you're uh, listening, he's all yours. <laughs> he's free. Because he's, well, he's trying to scratch at the, <laughs> at the rug, and he already, like, has made problems with that, so... <laughs> Yeah, I would rather him, like, go and try and chew more pants or something. Something that's easy to replace than, uh, you know, try and scratch up carpeting or whatever that we don't own. Go chew pants. <laughs> go chew pants. But anyways, so yeah, um, my birthday. So, first of all, I'm going to preface this by saying I thought that my birthday was supposed to be the day after. Um, mm -hmm. Because I thought that, like, time just... just didn't happen for 2020 um and 2020 was a leap year so <laughs> yeah a leap year because uh, my birthday happens obviously before the 29th um it doesn't get affected like on the leap year but it gets affected the year after and it gets pushed out a day so obviously 2020 was the leap year so my birthday didn't change on 2020 but it skipped a day in 2021 and my brain, for whatever, was like, oh, 2021 is going to be the leap year. And so I knew what day my birthday was last year. Totally fine. And then <clears throat> I was expecting it to be a day later than it was this year. Don't know how my calendaring skills kind of failed me there. But um, so I was expecting my birthday to be on a Monday. And I don't work Mondays. I mean, I'm about to pick up Mondays, but I don't typically work Mondays. And so I was like, oh, cool, I get my birthday off, whatever. And then a couple of weeks ago, I looked and I was like, I'm working on my birthday. What? Uh, what? Why? Uh, okay. Um, but we're having, like, staffing issues. So I was like, well, I can't really last minute just take off my birthday. Um, so... Woke up at 5 a.m. because Draco wanted food. And I kept trying to, like, get him to calm down. Like, no, go to bed. It's fine. And he was very, very persistent. And so I got up, finally gave him some food. And then as I was going back to sleep, Merlin woke up and was like, Oh, you're up? Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Like, really bad. So I, like, tried getting back into bed and was, like, trying to lure him into bed. <laughs> that way he'd just fall back asleep and then could use the restroom after. That was not working. He was, like, sniffing around. He was, like, ready to go outside. I'm like, Dorian, could you not wake up just this once, this one morning, just super early because you hear the dog 
and take him out, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> and no, I got out of bed at like 540, whatever, got him all like harnessed up, went outside, he went around the building and he pottied and whatever. Then I got back upstairs and I'm like, it's only like six ish. I have enough time to fall back asleep. I, I'm good. I can, I can calm. So I like talked myself down for a good like 15, 20 minutes just to be like, okay, I have the time and I will continue to sleep. Then I woke up at like 8.15 and Dorian was going to take me to work that day because um, my car had a low charge. And I uh, woke up and for whatever reason, my brain didn't figure out that it was Sunday. I thought it was Saturday. And so I like shake him awake. I'm like, Dorian, we need to get up. I have to be to work at 9 a.m. It's, it's already 8.15. We have to leave like right now for me to get there on time. <sighs> and Dorian was like woke up and he's like, what? Why? I'm like, because I work at 9. He was like, why did you pick up at 9? I'm like, what do you? It's Sunday. Oh, yeah. So then I like calmed myself down again and fell back, <laughs> fell back asleep. Um, and then I woke up at nine something and I had, I was, was supposed to have lunch with my friend at 11. Um, and Dorian was like, do you want to start getting up, getting around, you know? And I'm like, it's fine. Like, it's not 10 yet. And then 10 o'clock rolled around. I was like, oh crap, I have like an hour to get ready. And so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I get up, get ready. We're heading out the door like super late last minute. I try to leave early enough that way I can go into work like get my room set and all that good junk and then I'm not like rushing to get through lunch um did not happen about halfway there I realized that I had forgotten my headphones um so I was like oh my god I, I forgot my headphones and Dorian looks at me he's like do you want me to go get them for you like <laughs> yes because it's my birthday because I've had that happen before and I didn't really, I, you know, was like, it's fine. I only have this many or, you know, whatever. I don't yeah. want to take him out of his way to do that for me. Because it's it seems yeah. really stupid headphones. Um, but yeah, so he drops me off because uh, I'm having lunch, like, right literally across the parking lot from my work. And so I go inside and my friend says that she's already there. And I'm looking around, like, did she get a table? Like, is she in line? What, uh, What's going on? So I just wait in line. Um, and I text her, I'm like, hey, where are you? And she's like, oh, I'm at your work. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I was running behind, <laughs> so I'm not at work. I'm in line right now. And I'm, like, getting closer and closer to the front. I'm like, I'd, I am not the one paying today. Like, I didn't plan on that, so I'm not yeah. sure, like... Which I knew that I still could pay, but I was still just like, um, I, cause her and I always argue about like paying and whatnot. And it, I knew that if I yeah. had paid, it would have been a whole big thing about like, you didn't let me buy you anything on your birthday and whatever. Yeah. On top of that fact, I didn't know <laughs> what she specifically wanted to get. So, uh, <laughs> um, thankfully she like showed up right as I was about to hit the front of the line <laughs> and we ordered Very whatever bad. and we right well when we look around like we have these usual tables that we sit at but it was kind of cold so we were like we don't really want those tables and then there was another couple table tables that are closer to the uh to the kitchen and we uh, you know tried to go to those ones but they were all taken or like i think one of them just had like trash spewed across it like someone was just gross um and we're looking around, looking around, and there was one table that opened up, and we were like, yes, let's go do that one. And then this mom is, like, quickly ushering her little girl towards the table, and we're like, are you kidding me? Um, and then the little girl, like, pulls out a seat at a different table and then just sits down at, like, a dirty table, <laughs> and she's like, no, we're sitting here. I'm like, thank you, little girl. Thank you. <laughs> So the mom just, like, caved and just, like, sat down at the table while it was, like, getting bust. I'm like, this, this child knows. She's here for me today. <laughs> <laughs> this little girl's got my back. <laughs> uh, so we uh, go to the table, 
Um, and, you know, we get our food and whatever. We start talking, and then Dorian messages me that he's there, and he brought my headphones and whatever. So I go out, meet him, say hello to Merlin, all that good stuff, go back inside, and then I get a call from my work. And my work tells me, oh, hey, your first client last minute canceled, so you're still getting paid for it, but we're not going to try and rebook the space. Happy birthday. We'll see you at four. I was supposed to go in at two. And so I'm like, uh, I'm I'm across the parking lot, um, and I don't have my car, so I can't exactly, like, go home, because Dorian drove me. <laughs> and... Uh, we couldn't extend lunch because my friend, like, she has her dog in doggy daycare when we go to lunch. So she obviously needs to pick him back up at, like, the appropriate time. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, that's fine. And then I, uh, you know, she goes to the bathroom or to refill her tea or something like that. And I check uh, my, like, work group chats. And there's a front desk chat that I saw had some messages in it. And there's some stuff that's, that was, like, going on up front that I'm like, I want to be a part of this conversation if it has to do with any of this. And I look at it, and the lead therapist was just letting everyone at the front know, oh, hey, it's Patrick's <laughs> birthday today. Um, I'm going to get him a card and cake. Part. I know, I'm like, <laughs> she totally forgot that I was I was in that chat. <laughs> <It's> um, <my favorite. laughs> And then I think the only person that remembers that I'm in that chat, like, <laughs> replied to that and was like, hey, just don't get anything that's, like, too much. Remember, he has an eating disorder. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my girl got me. I did that's not, not see. Funny, but... <laughs> I mean, my eating disorder isn't funny, but, like, no, the fact that my friend was they like. What did. What <laughs> Uh, well, okay, oh and I God. didn't I didn't know this until later because that was where I like closed out of the chat. I was like, they'll oh my God, they'll just do whatever. Um, apparently, uh, the lead therapist replied to that, and her reply was that you know she w- was going to Smith's to get the cake and the card, and then when she was there, she messaged again and was like, I don't know what I should get him. What does he What does he eat? And my friend was like, I don't know, just don't, just don't make it too much. (laughs) And so, like, I didn't see, I didn't see any of that. But uh, I wrap up lunch with my friend, went great, whatever. She goes and takes me to Starbucks, where Dorian and I were supposed to get Starbucks after I got off work. So when I was there, they were like, oh, it's your birthday, like, we'll give you, you know, your drink for free. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to save that for after work, but thank you. Um, which was a mistake. So I pay for my drink. I head uh, back across the street to work. Um, I get in there and I see the card and the cake. Well, okay. I see the card sitting there and I not only see a cake, I see two cakes. That's my favorite part. (laughs) I'm sorry. She said he has an eating disorder. They said, let's buy it. Let's buy two cakes. Let's get two. <laughs> it, well, and what's funny oh is that, like, God. if they were two totally separate cakes, I would understand a little bit better. They were two chocolate cakes. One of them was, like, just iced. Okay. Go ahead. No, I was picturing two different cakes. No, it wasn't. <laughs> or... <laughs> Oh my god. No, yeah. so there were two cakes. <laughs> One of them was chocolate just iced around and then like the top had a layer of icing on it as well. So it looked just like a plain like out of the box from a grocery store cake. And then the second one was also a chocolate cake, but it had like icing, cookie crumble on it. It had like little dollops of cream on it with like little fake cherries or whatever. And then like a design in the middle and whatever. I'm like Why? Why? (laughs) Like, it was a very sweet gesture. Oh, I also want to talk about this 
in a minute now because it's in my background right now. Um, <laughs> there are cards behind me. Um, oh, okay, sorry. But <laughs> I'm like, what is this? I was trying to like point to it in my background. Um, <laughs> but what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, the cakes. So yeah, there was two cakes, and when I was at lunch, my friend also bought me a slice of cake. Um, and it's from a restaurant okay. out here that like is well known for their desserts and they're very, very rich and whatever. So I'm like, I'm good. Like I just had like a grilled cheese, sweet potato fries and a slice of chocolate cake. Like I am stuffed to the gills with very, very rich food. And everyone's like, you need to cut it and have the first piece. That way we all can freaking eat it too. I'm like, except I didn't like I, this year and last year, I did everything in my power to not have anybody know that it was my birthday. <laughs> Specifically because I didn't want a cake at work and I didn't want a card and yada yada. And then because the mm. card was also bought same day. Um, because I do a mostly good job of hiding that it's my birthday. Uh, <laughs> the card had all of like three signatures in it. <laughs> so I was like, well, now yeah, this just looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have no card than a card with three people saying happy birthday. <laughs> and then I like sit at work for a couple hours and I get a chance to talk to Noelle, which is nice because we don't ever have a chance to actually talk to each other anymore. Yeah. Um, and so that part was good. I'm like, that, that was probably my favorite part of my birthday <laughs> was just being able to like listen and chat to my best friend for, you know, for yeah. a couple of hours. But of course, that has to come to an end and my first client shows up. This first client, I I really enjoy her. She is a very nice lady. Um, you know, the last time that she came in, we talked a lot about her job and she's a school teacher and she was telling me a little bit about like the darker part of her job. Um, just with like, you know, when you're around kids, like everyone's gone through some kind of trauma when they were a child. Yeah. Hearing like traumatic events from children is very different than hearing about it way later in life after they've processed it or grieved whatever happened. And so she was like telling me about that um, in her last session. This isn't even the session on my birthday. But so I like knew that I was kind of in for a conversation that was a little bit of like a mixed bag. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, well, I want to remind you, Dorian came and brought me my headphones at work. <laughs> and so I was like, well, I don't get to, like, listen to anything because I know that this girl's chatty. And so her and I start talking about, like, the new Kristen Belt show and uh, a little bit about, like, Disney. Um, you know, like, just very happy, bright things to start off with. Okay, well, then it makes, like, a hard turn. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what prompted it. It it probably was something with Disney. I honestly, I think it was. Um, it we started talking about some like dark turn. It can always <laughs> take a dark turn. I think we were talking like some sort of Disney conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Yeah, if you knew some of the things that like happen in this country, like you would not want to be here." And I'm like, "Oh," and her husband. Her husband was a, like, high-profile, I don't even know what his actual, like, job title was. I think it's, like, a for forensic surveillance or something like that. Um, and, like, he, she was telling me, like, oh, he's seen some stuff. Like, we talked a little bit about, like, um, DIA. Like, all the conspiracies around DIA and the fact that I used to live in Denver and I know, and I have friends that work at DIA, and they've told me about, like, yeah, no, there's areas that we're not allowed in. Um, <laughs> there's areas we've tried going into, and it just leads to nowhere. I love uh, that conspiracy theory. Oh, my God. Well, and I was, like, kind of giving her, like, a cool fact. Like, as you're driving out of DIA for, like, the next few miles when it's just, like, open road before you actually hit, like, the highway or anything, all of those lights, my family put that there. <laughs> So, like, crazy, you know, my dad had contracts with DIA. Um, 
but yeah, so we just kind of went down a rabbit hole there with like, oh yeah, there's, you know, new world order stuff and conspiracies and yada yada. <laughs> then she starts going into like what her husband used to do. Um, and she told me a little bit about like some COVID research that's happening. That was very scary. <laughs> Um, she Imagine. told me about, uh, I'm trying to think like what I can say that's not. That's what I was thinking. I was like, um. She was a teacher. Yeah, no, this is the teacher that I came home that one, like, uh, sorry, Dorian just messaged on here. He said, wait, you didn't tell me she was a teacher. I think she might be the teacher my class gave a coffee maker to in class for being such a good teacher. <laughs> I mean, maybe. 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 <laughs> Allegedly. Um. Um, she is a really good teacher. Like, she has her classroom, like, stocked. Like, she has a section that's, like, a take-what-you-need section, and she stocks it with, like... That's um, cute. Yeah, she stocks with, like, food and toothbrushes and, like, toiletries that's and sweet. all that stuff for kids that just don't have it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she was getting into like her husband's thing, and I'm trying to think of like what other horrifying stuff. She, oh, oh, she talked about. Um, <laughs> she talked about uh, some government officials and uh, some reasons that they were being surveilled. Um, I'm trying to just think what I could say because I'm like, if any of right. this is true, I don't want to like know. have someone coming after me. Um, but you've, a uh, certain you've lumped me in with you, Patrick. I know. Well, you lumped me in with the dang Freemasons thing, so thanks. So if we go missing, when I there's said, reasons. When I said that there's a building <laughs> down the street that says Freemasons, <laughs> they haven't brought it. It's not a secret. <laughs> It's legit, like, hey, Freemasons meet here. Like, <laughs> I didn't make it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you also told me about Miss, Mr. Freemason. That's different. So that's not that different. That wasn't Mr. on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> She was telling me about the reasons that a certain former government official was being investigated and why a certain former government official wouldn't want, like, their um, personal documents. Like, oh, what's a personal document? You know, your social security card, um, your birth certificate, your tax returns. <clears throat> um, why they wouldn't want those released and what's actually on them. Um, and she, like... Because <laughs> everyone's speculated about what's on them with, like, well, why doesn't he want it released? And the number one theory is, like, oh, well, of course, because he's broke, and it's going to show what a bad business person this former government official is. Um, no, yeah. it's actually way worse. Um, yeah. So that made me thoroughly disgusted, because then she got into, like, the nitty-gritty details of that issue and um, how it relates to, like, stuff going on in Hollywood and uh, people that it involves and, you know, pe people that have passed, like, pretty uh, conspicuously in the last couple of years, just randomly, or that have, you know, take it, taken themselves um, in not-so-taking-yourself ways or locations. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, and this was that all... Word in there? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> you have to include it, otherwise it's slander. Because <laughs> every so often I'll just, I'll just pause and say allegedly. <laughs> Please do. Cover us. But mind you, she was spitting all of this in, in like, 90 minutes. So I went from, like... Talking about the Cinderella <laughs> guided castle tour in Japan to like. Uh, <laughs> what? 
I was just saying I seen that and that looked really cool. Uh, right. Dorian yeah. and I just talked about it this morning. I'm like, they need to bring that here. We don't have earthquakes here. I mean, we do, but. Yeah. We do, but. Yeah, Not everyone, boring. whenever they talk about that, we should, we should do a one about, like, we should do a podcast about uh, Disney, uh, lost Disney rides. Yes. Always, always uh, mm. say allegedly. Oh, you don't want allegedly. CIA agents marking us. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yep. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that about my own stories. Allegedly. Like, allegedly, I went to the coffee shop and... <laughs> That'd be great. Allegedly, this morning I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> I was allegedly seen dropping my dog off at about like three thirty ish. Hello. Hi, this is this is Dorios. Anybody that Dorios wanted to see Dorian. Dorian's amazing new hair, this is it. <laughs> or this so is part different. of it. <laughs> It gets spot different. the difference. Oh my god! I'm not <laughs> spot the difference. Spot the difference. Do. Um. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. What was I saying? Um. Uh, we were talking about Disney. Disney. Yeah. So I went from like Disney, <laughs> Disney conversation, to like human atrocities happening in our country, um, in the course of technically like eighty minutes. <laughs> So uh, that was fun. And like towards the end of it, um, I had like a little bit of a slip and I was like, oh my God, yeah, no, this was intense. Like happy birthday to me. And I meant to think that because I like that. I realized that that's like an asshole -ish thing to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and she was like, she popped up off the table and was like, it's your birthday? Like, I was so sorry. I meant to think that. Like, I enjoyed the conversation. And she was like, oh my god, I feel so bad. I am so sorry. I'm like, no, no, no. It was a good conversation. Like, we we went through all these different places and ways and things that I'm, I'm happy I know. Um, she was like, yeah, but I would have at least saved, like, the Disney conversation for last. <laughs> wow. Like, it's all good. And then after that, I had another 90-minute session. Um, and, yeah, she was also chatty, which was fine. But I just was, like, mm -hmm. in such a different headspace at that point. Like, and she was trying to talk about, like, stuff that she's done and thought that didn't work and yada yada. Um, which is totally fine. Like, plenty of people talk to me about, you know, just stuff in their life that isn't, isn't working. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's one thing, like, being in school, which, like, we can talk a little more in, like, a an open, yeah. our own episode about this, but yeah. they're like, yeah, people will try to use you as a therapy source, um, but oh, yeah. you're not allowed to give them advice or anything. <laughs> they're like, just listen. Just sit there and listen to them. Oh, no, it's great. <laughs> I love listening Sorry. to people's stories. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. Thank you, Mellow yeah. Vibes. <laughs> he just said happy birthday to me. Um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so finished that last session. And then I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I just, I want to get my notes. I want to get all my stuff. There was a new girl working. So um, she was going to be taking over that shift. And before I left, I uh, made it a point that I wanted to like talk to her about how closing procedure is going to go because I'm going to be the one closing with her. Mm -hmm. Um and I just was like, hey, just so you know, like, this therapist typically, like, bounces as soon as they're done. This therapist sometimes stays, sometimes leaves. I will always be leaving with you. Just not today because it's my birthday. <laughs> uh. um, but, yeah, because, you know, I just... And this is a little bit sexist to me, but it also is me being a little bit, like, real. Like, statistically, someone is more likely to be attacked if they're alone. And statistically, mm -hmm. a female being alone is more likely to be attacked than a male being alone. So I just wanted to let her know, like, hey, you'll never actually be leaving here alone. Like, I typically stay the extra half hour to close with you. Um, so I gave her that rundown in literally, like, 30 seconds, and I just booked it out the door to the car. I get inside the car, and then Dorian's like, what you want to do for your birthday? Like, where you want to go? What are we doing? And I'm like, take me home. I want to go to sleep. 
I'm done with today. <laughs> um, and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> sure. And we talk on the way home and I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't want to be like a wet blanket. I need to like elevate my energy and whatever. If you want to, if you want to eat out, then like, let's go get me some sort of like birthday dinner or whatever. <clears throat> he's like, no, no, if you're not in the mood, like we can definitely do it later, which is why we're going to do it today. Hell um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, and yeah, that was pretty much. Celebrate Valentine's Day. And we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day today because I don't like celebrating Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day because I hate like going to crowded places. Like when we're still in the pandemic, so I just not about it. Yeah. Um, but I hate going to crowded places in general. Yeah. And just not, not feeling it. To try and like be on a nice date with my, with my boyfriend. <laughs> with my boyfriend. Yeah, that was pretty much the end of my birthday. Like I came home. I don't think we even did anything. Um, I think we like watched some miraculous or something, and went to sleep. Like you said, though, like that's your fun time because like a lot of people do that on a regular basis. They just like lay around and do nothing. So, yeah. like, for you, that's, like, a leisure. <laughs> it's not just, like, what you do on a daily basis. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, exactly. Which, like, today, that's pretty much all that we did. Because, um, like, I, both of us worked really hard yesterday to make sure, like, the apartment is as good mm-hmm. as it could be for today. Um, we got as many chores as done as possible. That way, you know, we could spend pretty much all morning in bed. We knew that we were going to be recording today. So, obviously, we had yeah. a couple issues, but... Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's just talk about you, Patrick. Let's talk, talk about, about my birthdays. birthday. Let's, Why not? Let's talk about... <laughs> well, because I celebrate... There's so many birthdays. Like, I know so many Aquariuses. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, <laughs> legit, it's like birthday after birthday <laughs> these past few weeks. What's funny is, like, all of my family are Capricorns. And so I'm the only one that, like, tips off the scale into the <laughs> into That's Aquarius. Amazing. Because, yeah, we, like, have first. late December, um, or we have, like, mid-December, late December, mm. early January, early January, or, no, early January, <laughs> late January, and then, like, February. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like, right at the cusp is, like, where my sister's birthday, like, is off in January, so it's, like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just me. It's just That's me. Amazing. It's just me. Isn't me, myself, and I. Um, a little bit on, that, like, still on the birthday thing. Um, just because this is, like, a sad story, and I guess if... Yeah, I mean, we are going to post this on on the uh, on the podcast. Oh, my God, why can mm-hmm. I not speak? Uh, uh, bu- 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 <laughs> on my birthday, I did work with uh, one of my, my friends... And she was, last year, she was the only person who I told it was my birthday. So I'm pretty confident that she's the one that spilled it last year. She still attests that she did not tell anybody at work that it was my birthday, but I'm pretty sure it was her. Anyway, (laughs) uh, you know, she was saying like, yeah, I don't really like celebrate my birthday either. It's just a number or whatever. And I started telling her about like the last few birthdays I had. I'm like, yeah, no, last year... I tried to make it as mundane as possible. Literally, like, Dorian and I put together a cat tree. <laughs> um, I was like, I just want everyone to leave me alone. I don't want to do anything. Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't work, thankfully. We uh, ordered McDonald's for my, like, you know, special dinner or whatever. <laughs> and that was literally it. That was our day. I was like, I just want to spend the day with you just watching TV. Like, I don't want to go out, do anything, do, like, nothing. Um, and that was that. And then I was like, yeah, the first birthday that I had, um, as soon as I moved, uh, was actually a little, uh, it, it was a little depressing, like, from the outside looking in, <laughs> because I had moved here in October, and obviously my birthday's in February, so, um, 
I didn't really have a lot of friends at that point. I pretty much had, like, one guy that I had been talking to who we were, like, kind of friends. We were kind of maybe thinking about dating. Um, I had one, like, friend from work. And that was pretty much it. And so on my birthday, uh, I think I worked, actually. And so, you know, got to work bright and early, worked the whole day. And then uh, I couldn't celebrate with, like, my family, didn't have a boyfriend, nothing like that. So I went across the street to uh, Smith's and I got one of their little, like, vegan molten lava chocolate cakes. (laughs) And I got a candle, (laughs) went home, like, cooked myself, uh, you know, like, fish sticks and french fries and whatever, just, like... A nicer-ish dinner for me. Not nice-ish, just Mm. a full dinner. Like, a very hearty, I guess. Um, And then I just, like, had the little cake next to it. And my brain was like, oh, I want to watch Once Upon a Time. Literally, that's, like, the first episode. Is uh, at about, like, ten minutes in or whatever. Emma is celebrating her birthday alone. And she has, like, a little cupcake for herself. And she blows out the candle. Yeah, and at the end, it's like her wish was that she wouldn't be alone for her birthday. And I was like, Aww. well then, this uh, just took a sad <laughs> turn. Like, I, See, I have a tradition. I just cry on my birthday. <laughs> I, I mean, whatever happens. works for you. It ends you. up happening. And so like this, you know, I'm just like, I'm just going to cry. I'm just gonna cry. It'll be fine. It happens. It happens whether I want it to or not. So like, you know, might as well just expect it. <laughs> hey, there you go. What, whatever makes you feel good about your birthday, girl. <laughs> Did you have a story you wanted to share? Any fun birthday <laughs> nonsense? Um, no, like I said, I've just had a lot of birthdays celebrations this month. Uh, and I think all of you Aquariuses are the same. You're like, mm-hmm, my birthday isn't a big deal. Because I legit had to like deal. force it out of my friend. I was like, when is your birthday? Because you said you were an Aquarius. And so hers was today. And she actually, because I wanted to do something because she's like a friend that I just met in massage school. And so she gives me rides every morning because she found out, you know, that I walk there. And she's like, honey, I'm going to give you a ride. So um, I wanted to do something nice for her, you know, because I'm like, you know, nobody has to do that for me. Yeah, so no I free rides. Lunch today. Um, it was really funny, though, because she's like, um, she's like, no, I'm paying. And so I looked at the waitress. I was like, it's her birthday. And she was like, oh, it's her birthday. I'm like, so give me her check. <laughs> and the lady's like, I will. I will. You ain't paying. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I was like, I started laughing. Like, I did an evil laugh. And everyone at the table was like, oh, my God. That is great. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, it's her birthday. She ain't paying. And the wife was like, no, you ain't. <laughs> One of my exes and I, we actually had this, like, tradition <laughs> that when it was your birthday, you did pay. Um, oh, that's funny. And that, that started from, like, our first date. Because... <laughs> Um, I, like, I was not in a good place when I met this guy. Um, I was trying very hard to, like, get out of the date, and I, originally we were, he wanted to get coffee, I'm like, well, there's a Starbucks right across the street from my work, let's go right after. Knowing that I would look a mess when I'm done with work. Um, and so I waited after work, and he didn't show up, didn't show up, didn't show up. I acted like I waited forever. I waited maybe ten minutes. (laughs) And then I messaged him and was like, hey, I think I'm going to get heading home. Like, you know. And he was like, I'm so sorry. Can we reschedule for tonight? Like, can we do a movie or something? I'm like, I mean, eh. He's like, I'm so sorry. I just, I am stuck with my family right now. It's my birthday. But I'd really like to take you out. Like, I'm like, it's his birthday. Seriously. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We can do it. Like. You know, and and we make a plan, and I don't remotely try and look good. And I get there looking like a runaway teen. And he shows up, and he's, like, in nice pants and, like, a vest and whatever. Like, he did obviously come from, like, a family birthday thing. But I'm just Mm -hmm. like, 
I'm the I'm an ash. Uh. I'm an ash hole. Like and uh yeah, and he paid for the movie and the food and whatever, and I was like, Are you sure it's your birthday? He's like, Yeah, no, I wanted to take you out. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And so, like, we hit it off really well. We dated for a few years, so obviously we hit it off really well. Um, yeah. And so on my birthday, I was like, oh, well, I guess, I guess I'm going to be the one paying for, uh, for like, our, our date tonight. <laughs> and we just did that for, like, three years. It was like, anytime it was one of our birthdays, who the birthday boy paid for everything. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I got stood up one time on my birthday, so that was fun. Oh, that's not surprising. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> really not. And then, what like, happened? a few years later, like, he he just didn't show up. And he posted on his story. Because I don't forget anything. It's I, it's a curse, honestly. Same. Like, I remember way too much. And I hate it. Like, I still can't remember or forget stuff that I'm like, why do you remember these stupid things? <laughs> but, um, so this guy, like, posted on his story. Because my birth, my birthday is my birthday. My birthday. I don't know why that came out. My birthday is around Labor Day. And so uh, he went camping, like, with a bunch of his friends and, like, posted pictures. And I'm like, wow, thanks. Like, not only did you just like, completely, like, which is a good thing because that guy was an asshole, obviously. But um, so, like, a few years later, he hits me up on Instagram and he's like, why don't we talk anymore? I'm like, you ditched me on my birthday, dude. <laughs> and he's like, oh, what? And he's like, no, I don't think I would do that. I was like, yeah, you did. I know you <laughs> did like, that. And then he kept, I was like, what? <laughs> so he's like, oh, I probably had to help my, like, grandpa. Like, he was trying to make, like, a sob story for himself. And I was like, no, you went out with a bunch of your friends. And he's like, wait, what? How do you know? I was like, you literally pictures and he's like how do you remember that i'm like because i forget nothing <laughs> it's like a steel trap literally they think like if you wait a few years like i'll just be like oh why did they stop probably because you're an asshole like what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god man. <laughs> but that just cracks me up that like he hit me up a few years later <laughs> like why don't we talk like you sorry Wait, what because <laughs> Because you're not a what? good person. You're not good company. Not that oh. I know you didn't show up to be company. Well, I mean, we had hung out, like, once or twice before, but... Fair uh, Yeah. That's too funny. Yeah. All right. My little birthday well, adventures. We are hitting our, our time mark for today. So, uh, if you're listening in on the podcast, feel free. Uh, I'm trying to get questions working <laughs> on Spotify. So there should be a question down there asking if you've had any <laughs> interesting stories. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment about your interesting birthday experiences. Um, also, if you're an Aquarius and if this is just something that we all kind of share <laughs> or Do you if also it's not, hate your birthday? Do you also hate your birthday? <laughs> uh, thank you everybody who joined in on Twitch. There's also a Spiro in chat right now. Uh, yes, as we said, this has been an episode of Anything Can Be on a Hook. You can find us on uh, you can find us on Spotify or Anchor right now. Um, I am trying to get us up on more platforms, but we are officially a go. Our first episode aired this morning at eleven a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So that's very exciting! Yay! <laughs> uh, episodes will be released two weeks from the day that they are filmed over on Twitch. So if you would like to follow us on Twitch and see all of the live, unfiltered, <laughs> uncut action, uh, then feel free to head on over to Twitch. All of our technical <laughs> difficulties, like all the ones that plagued us for this episode. <laughs> then yes, feel free to follow us over on Twitch and watch it live. If you want the edited down version that just has to do with more of the topic, then feel free to watch the VODs or the uh, episodes on Spotify. Every Saturday, I do off-the-hook episodes on Spotify where you get the funny outtakes for each episode. So be sure to stick around for those. And Alyssa, is there anything else that you wanted to add? I don't think so. I think you got everything. 
All right, bonding. Well, then I guess we will see everybody next Thursday.